Hey everyone, on today's episode we're going to be taking a look at the Magia drum roller watch that I purchased on AliExpress. It's a unique watch with a unique way of telling time. Now, time's a ticking, so let's get stuck in. Hey everyone, Matt Johnson here, and I'm your host of my YouTube channel, Beer and Watches, where every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I bring you the very best in watch news, watch reviews, and craft beer brews. Now, today, unfortunately, I've not got a beer to review. As I mentioned on Monday's episode, I'm on doctor's orders medication for my back. So that means I can't have a drink today. However, hopefully by Friday, just in time for the weekend, I can crack a beer for you on this episode. All that being said, we are going to get on today with a watch review. Now, today's watch review is of the Magia or Magia, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, drum roller watch. And this is a really unique watch that I found on AliExpress that's got a unique way of telling time. Rather than using hands on the dial, it uses drums that rotate with numbers on to tell the time. If this is your first time on my channel, please do consider subscribing. If you love beer and you love watches as much as I do, or one or the other, then this is is the channel for you and I'm bringing you brand new content three times a week on Monday Wednesday and Friday so hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification button so you don't miss a single episode now all that being said let's swing the camera around and take a look at this pretty cool crazy watch okay everybody here we are we're going to take a look at the Magia or Magia you know I'm never sure how to pronounce that but it's an AliExpress special now before we open up this box and get into the review Today on my wrist, I'm wearing my Quartz Renegade Chronograph watch that I got on eBay for an incredible deal. This was originally a watch that was on Kickstarter. If you want to see the review of this video, I will put it in the description below this video. So go check it out. Now, without further ado, let's get into the watch. I do have a couple of tools here on the table as well. I have my case back opener, I have my spyglass, and I have my watch press. And this press is used for putting press down case backs back on watches because it's very very difficult to do without this I just got this for Christmas I've not done a review of this yet here on my channel but I will do a video on how this press is used all about it where you can buy it and the price and all that cool stuff I've also got my microfiber cleaning cloth ready to go to give the watch glass a polish all right so first of all taking a look at the box is pretty basic it's a cardboard black box with the Magia or Magia I'm just going to call it Magia logo embossed kind of in foil there on the lid we open up the box and inside we have a little foam pad and when we remove that we have a couple of things first of all we have the instructions and I'll get to those in a second because those are important believe it or not and then we have the Magia drum roller watch on leather strap now if I press this button at the top right it gives you a demo mode and you can actually see the drums rolling around there when you press that button for the demo mode they'll do two complete rotations before stopping again on the time this is just a way to demonstrate how the watch works if somebody asks you about the watch when they see it on your wrist and the price point for this by the way I got on Amazon at the time of this video for $26 Canadian including shipping from China to Canada that comes in at about $20 US 16 euros or about 15 pounds now I will put a link in the description below this video to uh, AliExpress Express where I purchased this where you can go and if you follow that link you'll be able to go there and get a great deal on this watch just like I did I want to mention that the instruction booklet that came with this watch is not for this watch it is for a completely different chronograph watch this doesn't help me at all now actually I had difficulty in figuring out how to set the watch but I did figure it out eventually and the way that I did it was I went back to AliExpress and I noticed that on the advertisement for this watch there was a diagram showing you what the buttons are for and how to set it so I will put that right here on the screen right now there it is you can see that so if you purchase one of these watches you can come back click on this video and just do a screenshot and then you'll know how to operate the watch I did reach out to Magia and they didn't get back to me and uh, I tried a couple of times so that customer service is not great at all but the watch is pretty cool for the price so I still think it's worth buying let's get into a couple of specs of the watch as you can see the 
dial here has got kind of a gold, what I call mottled finish, I guess. We've got the Magia logo with chronograph at uh, just below the 12 o'clock position. The hour markers do look to be applied there. They're in silver with a black line down the middle. And apart from that, we've got the three drums there. As you can see, the time just changed. So that was perfect time into 2.58 and you saw that drum roll round. This one here is the hour and here is the minutes. Now, before we get into the actual operation of the buttons and how to set the watch, the glass on this is a mineral crystal. It's got kind of a domed, uh, slightly domed crystal to it. Don't think it's got anti-reflective coating. The uh, diameter on this is a 53 millimeter case diameter. It's got a 17 millimeter thickness, 22 millimeter band, and 225 millimeter band length. The weight of this is about 82 grams, give or take, and the case is a metal alloy with a PVD coating, a black PVD coating. Now, if you take a look at the AliExpress website here, you can see that you can get this watch with different colorways and also on metal mesh straps as well. So this is the one that I chose. I think it's got kind of a cool vintage look to it. You can certainly choose different colorways at the same price. Now, the back of this has a push down stainless steel back. It's got directions on setting the watch there on the back, but to be honest, I couldn't make head and a tail of those. I did find that diagram on how to set the watch on the AliExpress website and again uh, you've seen that earlier in this video so you can just do a screenshot of that and then you'll have all the directions you need to know. As for the leather band, it's actually a very, very nice leather band. I was super impressed. It's very soft. It's stamped on the inside genuine leather and uh, it's got two keepers, one movable. It's got a tang buckle inscribed there with Magia logo and it's a very robust heavy duty time buckle you know on a lot of these Chinese watches especially inexpensive watches you get kind of cheap bands and cheap buckles but this buckle is very very nice it's got brushed uh, stainless steel there and the watch band as I say is super soft genuine leather 22 millimeter band width I'm very very impressed with that the only thing is that the tang buckle is in stainless steel silver and the case is in this black alloy which kind of doesn't match but then again the buttons on this are still stainless steel as well as is the case back so you know it's not too much of a stretch but I think overall it's got a very cool vintage look about it and you've got plenty of room on there for different wrist sizes and so I am overall very impressed with the watch. Now, according to the website, it's got three ATMs, which is 30 meters or 100 feet of water resistance. That is not actual diving resistance. That's just the atmospheric pressure that this watch would be under if you tuck it underwater to 30 meters. I would say it's going to be good for washing the dishes, the odd splash of water, things like that, but I wouldn't go any further um, like swimming in it or anything. I think that would ruin the watch. Now moving on to the movement inside this watch, let's just pop the case back off here and take a look at the movement inside. If I put my case back opening tool here, this is for press down case backs. I actually did a review here on my channel of the watch repair kit that you can get on AliExpress or Amazon for about $20. This watch removal tool is included in that kit. I will put a link in the description below this video where you can go check out that review. We just pop that under the little tab there and give it a twist and and that pops the case back off and then we can see the movement inside. Now, not a lot going on here except for the batteries. This is a quartz Japanese movement. All I can find out about the movement is the model number there, which is a Q2382 drum roller. It's got no jewels and um, that's about all I can tell you. I can also tell you that it takes two batteries to power this watch. These are the LR44 batteries and they have about an 18 month life span before you're going to need to replace those batteries but again they're pretty accessible there and the back of this is a solid plastic so by replacing the batteries you're not going to slip and damage the coils or anything inside this watch so I would say uh, that's a great little convenient way of um, setting the batteries in the back there. Now, to get the back back on here is not the easiest thing to do without a case back press. We're going to take the uh, watch back, place it onto the watch there, and then we're gonna put this into my little case back press that I just got for Christmas. And by clicking that, we should get a click and there you can hear that click and that presses the case back 
back in place. These are really handy tools. I don't know the exact price. I think it was like $20, $30 or something like that. But I'll be doing a review of this on an upcoming episode and show you all of the uh, tools that it comes with and how this works. But if you want uh, one of these, this is a great investment because you can get them and then replace the uh, press down case backs on your watches, which is very, very handy for quartz watches. They tend to use press down case backs and it's really the easiest way to get them back on. I'll put a link in the description below also to this uh, um, watch press here if you want to take a look at those. One thing I'll mention, you may have heard of the Red Star drum roller. The Red Star drum roller is over $100 US and this one is only $20 US and they use exactly the same movement, the Q2382 Japanese Quartz. So no difference on the movement, a little bit of a difference on the look of the watch, but all of the drum roller watches out there that I can find all seem to be using the Q2382 movement. So if you are looking for uh, a drum roller watch, I would suggest just getting this one and not purchasing those at an inflated price just because of the brand. Now, all that being said, quickly let's show you how to set the time on this watch. Basically, um, by pressing this button once, that gives you the demo mode, again, where all the drums will rotate two full rotations. And this is just designed if somebody asks you um, about the watch that you can press that and show them the unique drum rolling system. In order to set the time on this watch, what you have to first of all do is press the top left hand button and hold it until the wheels start to move. And then what that does is set the time at 12 o'clock. You then press this again, which will then put you in time setting mode. Now, right now it's showing the actual time, which is 3.08. Once we're in time setting mode, we press the bottom button here, we press and hold it like this, and that's going to rotate this drum. So you will put that at the correct uh, minutes time, which in this case is O. The top one here sets the minutes, so we bring that all the way around to eight. Actually, we'll take it to nine because it's probably taken us a minute to set the time here. And then the bottom right hand, uh, left hand one here sets the hour. So again, we'll go all the way around to three o'clock. Once you've got the time set, you then press the top left hand button, which locks in that time, the drums roll, and it rolls around to the time that you've just set, which is 3.09, and the watch now is set for the correct time. Again, if you wanna do the demo mode, you just press this button once, and that will do the demo roll. And that is basically how the watch operates, and that's pretty much all I can figure out. If it does anything else, I could not tell you, but that's how you set the watch time and how the watch works. Well, there you have it, my friends. That's my review of the Magia drum roller watch. I will put a link in the description below this video that you can click on to go to AliExpress and get this watch at a discount. Now, again, if this is your first time on my channel, please do consider subscribing. You can hit the subscribe button over there to the right of the screen, or if you're on your mobile device, it will be below this video. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss a single video three times a week. And finally, leave me a thumbs up. It means the world to me, guys, if you enjoyed this video, and leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to know what you think of this watch. Is it a watch that you would wear? What do you think? Too crazy or just crazy enough? Let me know. Finally, if you haven't seen it yet, click on this video right there. That's a good one. And also click on the Beer and Watchers logo right there to subscribe. We'll see you again on Friday for another episode of Beer and Watchers. I'm Matt Johnson. Take care and bye for now. Yeah.